This video shows how to add a list view. Uh, that's what we have here. And um, this is a list view element, UI element, and uh, universal apps. You see, it's uh, I load it. Um, <clears throat> it's a folder. It shows a folder, and it uh, runs in. Uh, it's quite simple written. It's not written with data binding. Data binding. All what you have to do is you have to take uh, to implement here a, a list view control like this in uh, on your XAML page. List view, and then you have to give it a name. And in this case, uh, it's here uh, in the grid, in the grid position sec uh, second row. Uh, you have to declare it in the first row here and stretching and stretching, okay? And on the back side, on the code behind side, you have all you have to do there is you have to uh, to generate uh, to create a UI element, and here it's uh, an image element. Create a new image, and then you have to add to the items, list view, items, add this in, uh, image element. Um, most examples which you will see on... Uh, now, come on. It's just starting it again. It's running here. Okay, now when we start it. Uh, this example shows... Um, it loads a folder just loading reading a folder an entire folder and here and then it reads the images and uh, drops all image images to the list view it's quite interesting uh, in this way that let's see what we have there uh, an image no maybe this one now it's loading. No, there's nothing there. Now, what I want to show is you see a scene now running the, the list view. It's loading, uh, loading at runtime. So, and it's uh, going on there. And this is a list view, simple example of that. And unfortunately, it's not wrapping, but what you see there, it's, uh, you have this selector, and I may select it, may click on it, and uh, I will get back uh, the click event of this list view.